This is how to create a RACI chart using Excel so you always know who's responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed in a project. I did a lot of the upfront work for time, so you can find the template if you'd like at my site, or let's get started. So I just angled that text up so that the letters RACI are going to fit better. Next, I'm entering my information for my dropdowns. These can be whatever makes sense for your project, but I'm going with high, medium, and low for the priority, and then in progress, done, needs review, and on hold for status, and then RACI needs to go here. Now in the priority, I'm going up to data, data validation, and this is where I'm going to get my dropdown list. So we need to select list and then select the little arrow icon because this is how you highlight your list. And then we're gonna hit okay, or you could go in here and enter something if someone makes an error. Repeat the exact same step, data validation, and then I'm going to go to list, select the icon, and then I'm going to select my list of statuses. We need to repeat one more time. Now I'm going to go up to data validation again, and my list this time is going to be the R, A, C, and I, so I'm going to select that at the bottom here. Now you could put these lists on another screen or another tab if you want, but I didn't just because I'm trying to do a demonstration. So now we've got those all set, let's drag these down and over, we can fix that border in a minute. And it's good to just check it out, test it, looks good. So I'm gonna select everything and this is how I originally put the borders in. You can go up to the font menu and then let's do a thick box border. You could separate these sections by color if you like, or you could put in a thick box border or a right line border, however you wanna do it. I'm gonna go back to the border again, more border options, and I'm going to select black so it matches our outer border and then select the thicker line and on the right. That looks pretty good, but again, modify how you see fit. Next is conditional formatting. This is gonna take you a hot minute. So I'm going to do the steps and then I'm going to skip through some of them so you just to save time. So what we need to do is equal dollar sign the A7 cell, that's our top left of our area we selected. And when that equals high, make sure you match the caps. We wanna format that, let's say green. Hit okay. I'm gonna select that, check it out. It worked great. Now we're gonna repeat the exact same thing. So we're gonna select it, new rule, we want to set that rule of equals a dollar sign A7 equals mead. So then we're going to type that in exactly as it matches our text. And then let's go with yellow. Hit OK. OK. Test it out. It's working well. Looking good. Now we need to do it again. And we're going to do the exact same thing. New rule. And this time when it equals dollar sign A7, but it's equal to low, we're going to change that format to a color of, let's say, red. So we'll go to format and then fill red. Hit okay. And let's test it again. All looks good. I skipped ahead and did the exact same steps for the status column. Now I'm doing the exact same steps again in the RACI, but I'm gonna show you this one because this one is just equals no dollar sign D7 and then equals your text. So equals I in double quotes. And then I'm gonna make that a pink color and looks good. You have to watch those dollar signs. So then let's test this out. And as we're selecting all of our options here, it's all looking good. Now, the point of this is to note who in engineering is responsible, accountable, and so on. So you wanna make sure that those make sense as you're selecting this, and you would probably fill in the role with a person's name. So let's fill it out a little bit more and skip forward. It's looking great. So now you might wanna go back and do some formatting. You could change this header so that it's a little bit darker, stands out a little bit more. You could split out these sections, the departments here so that they stand out more, they're a little bit more prominent to see. Change that to a gray. And then you might wanna highlight those and bold it. You can make these headings a little bit larger. And then let's resize this a little bit so it's not cut off. And then I'm going to select this entire section and let's change that to a bold and make that font larger so the RACI really stands out well. So now I'm just gonna fill in a few more randomly, but of course you would need to follow whatever makes sense for your project. Let's test everything out. This is looking great. Now I'm gonna zoom out so you can really see the full picture and there's your RACI chart.